Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am letting the Witch's Cauldron choose my books for the week. So if you've been watching a couple of my other TBR um, videos, you would have seen that Psycho Killer chooses and then I pull um, a little piece of paper from my Witch's Cauldron and I read that book as well in the month. This has been a way for me to kind of start tackling my endless list of books that I need to read. So they will be physical ones that have been on the shelves for a long time. They will be my saved library on Everand um, and either audiobooks or ebooks. So I haven't updated this. Uh, since January so there's no new books in this these are all things that I've either saved online or I've had on these shelves I'm going to pull my first book from this and I will read it for this weekly vlog and I'm quite nervous because <laughs> some of these are really big books okay this is the first one. Oh. The Sea of Tranquility. Okay, that's an interesting one. You can't probably see that. But yeah, it is Sea of Tranquility. Stay right behind me. So, this is going to be the first book that I pick up for this week. It is a nice and standard length of book. So hopefully this won't take me too long to read. I've had this on my TBR for a really long time. This is something that I bought, I think, in January. But I have had it on the TBR for a lot longer than that. I just finally found a copy that I liked. I thought the cover was incredible. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, it will be my first Emily St. John Mandel book. So, super intrigued. Um, and this one is a sci-fi book. So, I am going to start to read this today. And I will check back in with you when I've gotten maybe halfway through this book. So, I think I'm going to pick one from The Witch's Cauldron, just one at a time. So, when I finish reading this book, I will go back and pick another one and we'll just do that until the week is over so this might take me a day this might take me two days this might take me the full week so we'll see how long this goes um i have high hopes for this um so yeah really looking forward to finally getting into this and seeing what this is all about and if it's going to be something that i enjoy So um, I'm just jumping in right now. I know I said I was going to give you my thoughts on the first like 50% of the way through Sea of Tranquility um, and I couldn't stop reading. <laughs> um, this book is addictive. So I've actually finished it. I got to around 40% last night and it is now the second day and um, I've just finished it on my lunch break at work so it's now around three o'clock um, I take my lunch break really late um, as you do so yeah I finished it during my lunch break so I'm quickly jumping in before I have to head back to work to tell you about this so this book was incredible it's following these people who kind of like jump through time but they're interconnected so the book follows different characters in different time periods um, in each part so I thought that was really interesting and it kept me intrigued so much um, and the whole sci-fi element of this where it's about different worlds and moon colony colonies that word is a struggle for me um, 
there's loads of different inhabitants on these earth planets moon colonies um and so yeah it's so rich there's so much happening and the overall storyline is incredible um i didn't want to put the book down it hooked me right from the beginning and i really love the writing style so for me sometimes a book with multiple perspectives multiple time periods it can get very confusing to read but this was so easy to read each part um tells you who the perspective is what time they're in and it's so easy to follow so i didn't struggle at all while reading it so there's a mystery and these time travelers have to kind of go through time to solve the mystery and um it's so beautiful i think there's real humanity told within these pages and I think that the book kind of whilst it does have a pretty baseline plot um, for a sci-fi book you're just hopping through time trying to solve a mystery it does have a lot of depth and soul and you can really experience the humanity in the story so I think that's why it's a standout for me um there's a lot more to it and it was a fast read so um, this is a really great book to start this video with and I'm really scared for the other books that I'm going to pull out of that The Witch's Cauldron because this is such a good book to start with and I'm so glad I finally got to read it so yeah I would highly recommend picking up Sea of Tranquility it's literally been the best book um, I've read this month because it's the first one I've read this month um so yeah that is Sea of Tranquility so now I'm moving in to pick number two um and it is day two but I think this one is probably going to be my weekend book um because I do have um my boyfriend's sister uh staying with us this weekend so we are going to go exploring so I won't have a lot of time to actually sit down and read so it's not going to take me just Saturday to read um this one it's probably going to do Saturday and Sunday but we'll see let's give it a shake and so the first one for my pick number two Don't why it took me so long to open. Oh, I dropped it. Ah. Okay. Is the October Society season three? Um, I've read this already, so that can go. Um, I have finished the series. The three of the books are right there. Um, incredible. My favorite um, indie series so so good the october society is incredible i will leave my vlog um above so you can go check it out so i'm gonna have to pull another one here we go with this one um, the woman in cabin 10 i read this literally last month okay hopefully this is the final pick um and i haven't read it and it's a good book okay I'm going with this one and it is Station Eleven. <laughs> this is another Emily St. John Mandel book. I don't mind following Seeing Off Tranquility with another Emily St. John Mandel book. Um, so I guess that's what we're going to be reading. So Station Eleven. This is, again, another Emily St. John Mandel. Um, and this one is older than Sea of Tranquility. Um, and I do believe this is another sci-fi book. But it's going to be interesting to kind of read an older book from her. And, yeah, I guess I'm going to tell you my thoughts on Station Eleven.
about Station Eleven. So this book um, is weirdly similar to The Sea of Tranquility in terms of like it's following a virus and the outcomes of that deadly virus. Um, but for some reason, this book, for me anyway, was just too slow. I feel like this book kind of it is a bit chunkier than The Sea of Tranquility, but um, it still kind of covers similar topics. Um, but this one just seems to be a lot longer and there's a lot more characters and lots of different parts. Um, and there's a lot of moving elements to keep this story running. And so it was interesting to read, but I feel like there was parts of it where I was just hoping that they would speed it up a little bit because it just takes too long. Essentially, this is a book about um, a deadly virus that hits Earth and it wipes out the planet. Then after the end of the world, we have the Travelling Symphony and then we're following their journey um, in the post um virus world so it kind of like jumps back and forth and a lot of people really love this book um and from that it then was added to my tbr list because everybody was loving it thought it sounded something that would be right up my alley but um unfortunately i think it is an average book in my opinion um simply because like i said it is so slow in parts and there is so many different elements to the story where you really have to remember what's going on and um yeah I think it's just really slow so that's why I think it's an average like two and a half three star for me um I don't think that it beats Sea of Tranquility I absolutely adore that book um so unfortunately I think this is not as good um, but this is one of her earlier books um, that she had written. Um, this was published in 2014, whereas Sea of Tranquility was published in 2022. So she has come on a lot over the years, I guess, in her writing styles, uh, because Sea of Tranquility had absolutely no problem with uh, pacing or like character developments and stuff like that. Um, it didn't really ever slow down. So, um, yeah, I definitely think she has delivered in her writing style and improved it. Um, but Station Eleven is still a good read. If you're into viruses, post-apocalyptic worlds and um, really human experiences, then I think both of these books um, would definitely be of interest to you. Um, but I am really glad that I've read both of these books that were on my TBR for a long time. Um, and now I guess I'm moving on to the final book from The Witch's Cauldron. So this is the final book because it is now um, Wednesday and it's been a crazy week. Um, I've had so much fun doing this um, and also with everything else going on. So we had my boyfriend's sister come and visit us for the weekend. Um, so we were being tour guides around the city and um, we also went to a couple of shows because it is Edinburgh Fringe. So there is a lot happening in Edinburgh right now. Every single day, every hour, there's something going on. Um, it's really fun and I've been enjoying getting out um, after work and heading into town just to see what's happening and really soak up that atmosphere we've gone to a couple of shows already like i said um we went to see a gag race which is comedians fighting it out for a crown um who's who can be the best comedian on the day so that was like an interactive show um where we could vote for the best ones um which was really really fun and um yeah these comedians are like so funny and then we went to see reese nicholson um on monday night and it was really really good um i seen him in a tv show um on netflix so i don't actually remember what it's called but if i can remember i will pop a picture up here of the tv show but he was like this crazy doctor um in the show 
and it was really really interesting to see him do stand up uh, which is completely different from acting um and so yeah he was really funny it was really good to see um these little venues are so intimate as well this one for reese was uh set in a lecture hall so it felt like i was going back to uni um so that was a bit of a a weird coincidence and i've never seen people drink alcohol in a lecture theater before so that was quite new for me <laughs> um but yeah so he was really funny as well um and now we're going to see max fosh tonight um and if you watch youtube um british youtube then you will probably know who max fosh is me and my boyfriend um really enjoy watching his youtube channel so we're going to see what he's like on the stage um, it's been the first time actually seeing a stand-up version of him. So it's going to be quite interesting to see the difference and see what he's like on stage. Um, but that's tonight. And then on Friday, we are going to see Adam Hills. Adam Hills is the presenter of The Last Leg on Channel 4 in the UK. Um, and he's a big Australian comedian. So we're really looking forward to seeing him on Friday night. But now it's time to pick the final book for today and tomorrow um, so hopefully this is going to be a shorter book that I can read really really quickly or has an audiobook um, books with audiobook helps me read them faster um, yeah I don't know why that is it just happens so um, let's go so this is going to be the final book um, I was really hoping to read more than three books um, this week but it's been very busy I think finishing three books in a week is probably decent when you have so much other things going on um, but I guess the final book um, I'm just gonna pop this back over here the final book is The Ghost Woods by CJ Cook I really like um, CJ Cook's writing so I'm looking forward to this one it's a thriller book so um, two sci-fis and a thriller not too bad um, those seem a bit chunky to be fair and I'm hoping that I can finish this in the time yeah it's 400 pages so let's hope I can read this in two days I mean I have to read 200 pages today 200 pages tomorrow <laughs> bye okay yeah i'm really looking forward to this um i do have one more cj cook after this book to read and then i would have caught up with all of her backlist um and she is one of my favorite authors so i'm really looking forward to delving into this um like i said i don't know too much about it um i've kind of stopped reading synopses because i don't really want to spoil myself i love going in blind but I kind of glance and pick out certain words. Um, so it is a gothic thriller that is set in the 60s. So sounds incredible. Cannot wait to read it. And her writing style is really suited to me. So I'm looking forward to delving into this. I'm just jumping in now to round out this video and tell you about The Ghost Woods by CJ Cook. So I think that this means now that CJ Cook is one of my favourite authors because I've loved everything that she's written. Um, not everything is a five star read. Um, some of them have been fours but I haven't given her less than four stars across all of the books so I'm putting that down to her being one of my favorite authors to read because they're just so so good um so essentially the ghost woods is a five-star book for me the atmosphere in here is so so good um it's eerie and she really sets the scene um and creates like the woods as being its own entity as well so I really enjoy the atmosphere in here 
So essentially, the book follows the storyline where um, expecting mothers go to this home um, to give birth and then those babies are put up for adoption and then the women or girls go back to their normal lives. And it's kind of a story around um, pregnancy and um, the lore around these expectant homes uh, because this was a big part of society um, and especially in the UK um, there was this big uproar in Ireland around the Magdalene um, sisters and how that went down um, and these places were around up until like 1990 so it's pretty recent and um, yeah the treatment of girls in these places just weren't the best and cj cook wrote the ghost woods around that topic so she really does delve deep into those themes um about how the women who run this home treat girls who come in what happens to their children and um the horrors that lie with that but then you also have the subplot which is centered around the woods and the mushrooms. So I really enjoyed this book because of the fungus horror in here. Um, It's really interesting and I love that type of horror. Um, It's kind of like a bit of body horror. It's a bit of nature horror. It's just interesting to read. And a lot more books seem to be going down that route, which is so interesting. I definitely think it's a good way to go and um, yeah I mean it's got a lot of secrets and mystery um, throughout and it's multiple time periods so we have multiple perspectives between Mabel and Pearl and it's a then and now situation Um, but you're always told what time period we're in and who we're following. So, yes, the time jumping is actually pretty good in here. You're able to follow it really well. And um, the time kind of like links up in the end when they're both in the same time period. So it's kind of interesting and I really loved reading it. Um, It's such an empowerment to women, I think, as well in here. Um, And it shows that like you can just overcome anything. Um, so yeah there's a lot going on there's a lot packed into this book but that's what makes it an interesting read and I thoroughly enjoyed reading it so that means that this vlog is now over and I think it's been quite successful I managed to finish these three books during um, the week so we read Sea of Tranquility first and then Station Eleven both by Emily St. John Mandel and then finished with The Ghost Woods by CJ Cook. Um, So I thought that was pretty good going for a week. Um, Some really good books, two five stars and a three. So yeah, definitely off to a good start this month. And um, I do recommend Sea of Tranquility and The Ghost Woods. So if you are interested and they sound like something you'd want to read, highly recommend. Um, and it's been such a busy week and I'm so glad that this week has gone so well Um, there was lots of reading work and going out to some shows during the fringe but thank you so much for watching this vlog let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are or let me know if you're going to pick some of these up I would love to know your thoughts and opinions So do drop them down below and remember, if you do like this type of content, do subscribe and stick around. I would love to see you back again. And until next time, I guess, keep your pages turning and embrace the darkness. Bye.